make it stick this time. Johnny gets no. so close to clearing him, but not quite able to clear him. And Johnny knows better than to shove over in front of Matt because Matt's going to have the momentum from the high side. Look at how close they get here. Don't try this at home. <laughs> these are professionals, and man, they can wheel these pickup trucks. At a high rate of speed, no less. Long way to go yet, too. Still 26 laps to go for these guys. And the grip is going away every single lap on these tires. It looks like Johnny Sauter makes a run on Matt, tries to get there and make the move, and then when he can't complete it, falls back. Maybe lets those tires pull a bit. Johnny Sauter is an experienced veteran. He knows how important the tires are. Maybe he doesn't push that truck, gives it a lap or two in order to cool off and maybe go back at Matt again. Patrick Staropoli bringing out the caution for the third time tonight. Rough night for Patrick. He's been into the outside wall a couple of times. Michael, what do you decide now? We've got 25 laps to go. Do we come in for our last set of tires? Or do, or do we think maybe there's going to be a caution in the last 10 laps and we'll have fresh tires? <laughs> that, that's, that question is very interesting, Phil, because all four of our championship contenders are inside the top 10 right now. If one of them says, I'm not pitting, that could end his championship hopes. I think they got a pit. Those spring rubbers were probably most effective. I'm probably going to have it put some wedge in the left rear uh, on this last stop. Take the rubber out of the right rear as well. Can't, can't do it. I ain't got time. We've got to keep track of this. Talking about the strategy on the pit stop, that's Jerry Baxter, the crew chief, and Christopher Bell. Remember remember how I said early in the race they could make those changes and have a long pit stop? That's over with. Jerry Baxter knows it. He said, I can't pull the rubber out. i got to make air, air pressure adjustments, maybe a track bar. But we need a fast stop here. I think they all have to come. I don't know? think anybody's even thinking about staying out here. You know, you guys were talking about would we get another yellow late in the race. You look back at the history here, the final green flag stretch, four laps or less in seven of the last nine races here at Homestead. So history says we're going to get another caution late, but can you count on it, or do you have to come out again? I don't think we can take a chance, Vince. we got to come down pit road. And here they come. Caitlin. Well, Timothy Peters telling his team, I don't know what's up, but it has a bad vibration. I know you can hear it in my voice. So some concern there for Timothy. They're doing four tires and fuel, as well as an air pressure adjustment for the 17 truck. Now, for Matt Grafton, he told his team, I'm just a little bit free, so they're going to do an air pressure adjustment, four tires, a splash of fuel. Junior Joyner saying, knock it out of the park, guys. For me. 21 of Johnny Sauter, a little bit tight. Four tires, one can of fuel, a little bit of wedge out. Christopher Bell, the four truck, four tires, fuel, wedge in the left rear. How about that pit work for Matt Crafton? Wow. Less than 13 seconds for Matt Crafton. And Raddick still beats him off. Good job, Raddick. Strategy coming there. Ben Rose, Spencer Gallagher, just two tires. How will that play out? Less than 25 to go. 